Get it, chaps. Tis I. Clown puncher, what? No, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> not again, not again. <laughs> I'm gonna act like myself this time, don't worry. Alright, so, remember that video by Clown Puncher? And remember the video I made? Yeah, and we're doing the same thing, just, you know, with Origins. And I got Origins on Steam too, so, you'll see that it says, it gives hints with the Xbox commands, but I'm playing on my PS4 controller, so yeah. Same rules apply. No grappling unless absolutely necessary. Uh, cutscene grapples don't count. Uh, grapples that I don't have input on do not count either. And uh, no glitches. I Not a single glitch here actually helps me. It just makes the game funnier. All right, Watch till the end and you'll see what I mean. But yeah, there's one more thing you have to talk about though. Fast traveling. Do we count it as grappling? I took some time to think about it. My answer is no, I'm not counting it. And I have two reasons for this. One, Batman is easily able to get onto the Batplane without grappling. As you can see, when he exits the Batcave. And two, you can say, oh, it's just a, another way to get a height advantage without using the grapple gun. Okay. So is the Batmobile, and no one complained about that. Now, with that out of the way, let's try to see. Oh god, it's a monstrosity amount. I was so surprised myself. How many times you truly had to grapple. But yeah. Here we go. Our run starts off pretty normal. Introduce ourselves. First fight, Lope dies, we beat Killer Croc. Oh my god, I love this interrogation. This is my other favorite interrogation, right here. And yeah, so far we're pretty good. Oh wait, you thought we didn't have a single grapple yet? No, 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 no. We're already starting off with three grapples. In the tutorial level, basically. The, oh god, Origins is not being nice to us. We meet the... Eight assassins head to the GCR tower and our first predator tutorial. Ah, oh, crap. Yep, another grapple. Well, we don't have to grapple again since we can actually glide or we'll dive bomb and glide onto the vantage point across from us. But we gotta grapple again in order to ledge take down. Lovely. We scan the body. Get introduced to Snowy Gotham. I don't know why I said it like that. I'm keeping that. And we ran all the way to Loose Lips. Yes, we ran all the way to Loose Lips. Navigating was by far the worst part of this run. But also the most interesting. Alright, Loose Lips makes the deal. We have to head to Penguin's Laptops. And surprisingly, I didn't grapple once. Heck, I even glided onto the final offer and didn't even grapple once. And you could say, oh, you have to grapple to take out the sniper, but you don't have to, actually. You can still enter the bow without taking him out. And yeah, so far, so good. I don't know. Yep. You need to grapple. Yep. Oh, no. No. You still need to grapple. Yeah. Oh, ay yeah, yeah. this is a lot of fun. Alright, take out one punch man. And, oh look, more grapples. Yay. It's a lot of fun. Ah, Alright, finally got the penguin. And, ooh, this is badass. Watch this. It appears the game is over before it even begins. I'm not playing games, Slade. God damn, I'm proud of myself. I didn't take a single point of damage, and you bet your ass that I deserved that Steam Medal, all right? After going through this torture challenge, you bet your ass. Whew. Anyways, we get the remote claw, uh, 
Yeah, just put it up there. All right, Penguin gets delayed. We fast travel to the relay station, find Penelope Young's apartment, scan the Lacey Tower murder, head back to the Batcave where we learn one, he's building a line launcher, which is lovely. And two, we get some Alfred Wisdom. We love Alfred Wisdom. And now we need to head to the GCPD. This was not pretty at all because there's a wall that blocks us from running or climbing to get to Burnley in the first place. So what you have to do is fast travel back to the same location of Lacey Tower and glide onto the same building and then walk to the other side of the balcony. You can dive bomb and glide onto this building next to the bridge and then onto the massive pipe and you're good to go. Except for one problem. I scattered everywhere. And I couldn't get any height whatsoever in Burnley at all. Forcing us to grapple once onto the GCPD. It sucks, okay? Because this is the only time I needed to grapple in the outside world. And it could have been prevented if the layout of the south end of Gotham was done much better. And also, I'm going to make a separate video on the outside world traversal. Because it would take up way too much time in this video if i showed all the footage i captured so trust me on this one guys if you don't believe me don't worry i'll have all the footage uploaded of the outside traversal and i'll cut out some of the footage because of all the trial and error that i went through next up we assault the police and we need another grapple lovely i fought all the cops and only managed to get a c freaking sucks interrogated loose lips again and we got a grapple over a f***ing door god damn it man there's so many pointless grapples in this game and we're not even halfway through it yet and it gets worse much worse there's five more grapples one is right here by the enigma data pack two are in the sewers and I couldn't get enough height to make it only one, unfortunately. And after we get the disruptor, we need two more to go back where we came from. Good God, this challenge is a nightmare. We head to the sewers and need another three grapples. But we don't need to grapple onto the wire, thankfully. Batman being the smart as he is figures out the Lacey Towers murder case, we fast travel and then run all the way to the bank. It's weird because we don't have to grapple outside the bank, but on the inside we have to. It makes perfect sense. And then we saw a black man, I mean the Joker, head to the steel mill where we don't need to grapple to get the codes, but to get on the other side of the wall. Now, I did manage to actually get onto the wall without grappling, but there's a problem. The grapple triggers the game progression, that way I can get into the elevator. So it's basically a forced grapple, no matter what. Get poisoned by Copperhead, and then immediately get the cure. Thanks, Alfred. And now we need to track an electrocutioner signal. Unfortunately, we need to grapple onto the bridge to get enough height. And now, we can head to the hotel. There shouldn't be that many grapples in the hotel, right? Right?
Oh, God, that sucked altogether. But I did find some good news as I was editing this. A speedrunner I'm subscribed to, One Eye Deacon, did a 100% tutorial on the ballroom and actually managed to complete the room in three grapples. I'll put the link in the description since I don't feel like playing the game again just to get to the ballroom. So with that, we are technically at 40 grapples. Anyways, we fight Bane, have the beautifully crafted sequence with the Joker, get more outfit wisdom, and got all the way to Bane's hideout where we figured out who we are. Now we have to go get out to catch Firefly, but we need another one. And then we gotta run, and yes, I ran all the way to Firefly. There shouldn't be that many crap. I just cut to the chase already. I couldn't find a way to get around any of those goddamn grapples. And by the way, I need to say this real quick, but quick find the back claw does not count, okay? The only time it counts is at the end of the boss fight, because Batman literally says, My only option is to grapple onto Firefly. Yeah, exactly. Alfred dies. No. Alfred, you can't. Alfred, please, please, stay with me! Alfred! I NEED YOUR WISDOM! Anyways, we head back to the GCPD and we need three more grapples. Okay, I think that's the last of them. And now, for the final fight. Bane breaks our back, but we're somehow not paralyzed. And we beat him. We're finally, finally done with the game. All we have to do is head towards the Joker and... And... and that, chaps, is finally game. In case it wasn't clear enough, I do not recommend this challenge at all. Unless you want to do it on the outside world, that's fine. But don't even bother whenever you're in a building. I thought Asylum was horrible because there was only one path to go every time you move. But Origins literally said, hold my beer and made the challenge so much worse. Oh my god, I'm done. I'm finally finally done anyways thank you all for watching this video and thank you clown puncher for coming up with the challenge <sighs> we'll see what suicide squad and gotham knights has to offer anyways i'll see you guys later take care some bonus footage too for the glitches led to believe why are you doing this enigma <laughs> direct i like it so i'll tell you Ready for so round three then? then? Brute for control. Let's see what you can do. Violence and intimidation.
How about you come down? Sir? Who are you? I'm here to help. There are more of them. They have my co-workers. They're... they're forcing them. Calls about a disturbance. Stand by for location.